Today, I'm gonna crack open the monster. Um, crack open the monster so you guys get to see what it looks like inside, those of you who don't already know. But this is a new wheel, so what I'm gonna do is basically pre-inspect it, and I recommend that everyone who purchases a wheel do this with, while you're, um, everyone who purchases a wheel, you should do this. Um, you should pre-inspect your wheels, you should make sure that everything is tight, you should make sure that everything is working um, before you, you know, handle your business on it because you don't want the wheel to end up handling you. So that's pretty much how we're going to roll with this today. Um, we got to get my elixir first. Get that cracking, it's still kind of early for me. Today anyway, it's kind of early for me. So I still need my juice. Get this juice in. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Crack it open and I'll get started. Um, it's pretty difficult to get to these two screws here um, with just a screwdriver. So I feel safer because I don't want to risk stripping any screws. I feel safer taking off the pedal to access these. So um, you can use, I have my Allen keys here. You can use a 3 16th. I, um, if you don't have anything else that will work, but as you can see, if, when I put it in, there's a little bit of play um, as you turn that. A better fitting, um, a better fit, fitting Al Allen key is, is metric, and it's a five, five millimeter, I guess. And that fits in there very, very nicely, and it's, and it's snug, and there's a lot less play. So that's probably the one you want to use to loosen these pedals and you know get them up out of there. All right, so I found a screwdriver that worked. that brought out a whole battery of them and, you know, just tested them. This one fits the best. Now, you see also here that I have, a, I have an automatic uh, driver, but I don't like to break the torque on the screws with an automatic driver because in my experience, that increases the, the, the chance, the risk of um, actually uh, stripping these. And you really don't want to do that, especially not your first time going in the wheel. You kind of want to, you know, be very, very, very careful when you're breaking the torque on these screws. So you want a screwdriver head that fits nicely because that will minimize the chance of stripping any of these screws as you, as you pull this off. So as you can see, I'm just breaking the torque. Or, you know, this is for you new riders. I mean, experienced riders already know how to do this. They've probably done this shit a million times on their wheels already, you know. But the new riders coming to the coming into the market every day, so you know, people who ride have been riding for a while and really don't go inside their wheels. So um, maintenance in your own wheel might be a new experience for you, even if you've been riding for a while. That's very possible, especially some of you guys that live like in France or Paris where there's some shops that will fix everything for you nearby locally, right? Hold up, I need a coffee break. Ooh, that's what's up. That's that good shit too. Stop. 
really have to be careful doing this. I'm gonna have to go get a spatula. This shit. <laughs> Very slow. Bingo. Yeah, so be careful with that, because if you're too rough with that, and you'll be buying a new outer shelf cover for your monster. You don't want that. It's too, too soon to be having to buy shit. <laughs> for sure. All right. All right, so let's give you all a look at the inside. Plenty of photos posted. This is your battery. This is the 1845 watt hour uh, pack with the 18650 cells. Um, I'm sure the V4 monster will correct that. Um, this is your motherboard. Looks like all the other mother, looks like the MSP motherboard and the Nikola motherboard to me. <laughs> all right. So these are all your parts. LED lighting, your monster LED light. That is really cool when it's lit up. It's awesome. Your fan. Yeah, man, this thing is looks like it's put together well. So what I'm gonna do now is just go through. I don't wanna upset too many things, but I wanna go through and check and make sure that everything is connected and everything is tight. So basically, that's where we are with this. Alright. Let me pour some more. Pour some more coffee first, then we're gonna get on it. It's not a complicated thing, it's just one of the things that, you know, shit, fuck it, if you're doing it, you may as well relax, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy some coffee. Turn it into a little product, right? All right, let's see what size will this be. Let me pull over my, I'm not sure what size, what size that I used before. The same size. Let's see. What's this? It's a four millimeter. Let's see what this this fits. Yeah. Okay. So four milli fits. Fits well. All right. And these are tight. Frame screws are tight. They all seem very, very, very tight. Nothing's loose on this side. I'll pop the other cover off and check it. And again, I think you guys should do this before you ride your wheels. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, check these screws, these axle nuts, and all this other stuff. You know, all these pieces, these pieces here. Let me get a sip. Let me get a sip. Fuck like that. Mm. Ah. So if you don't check all this, right, you'll be out riding your wheel, and possibly you'll find yourself in a situation and you really don't want to be in, and I think y'all know the situation I'm talking about. And I don't think anybody wants to be in that situation, even though sometimes we all find ourselves in it. Many of us have found ourselves in it. Nevertheless, it's something you want to avoid. These are all pretty tight. This one is uh, loose. So, so you, usually find, you usually find something that could have been tamped down a little better, you know, you don't want to over tighten anything, but at the same time, you don't want things loose enough to cause, you know, to, to go to, to pry loose and, and jiggle around either. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's what I'm doing with that. That's a little tighter. It's better. Uh, you want to check your motherboard screws and make sure that your, your screws are, the base screws are there. Okay, so. Check all the screws on this side. Everything's tight. Everything looks good. Um, I don't want to run y'all through this whole, this, this, this process is boring. It's boring me, so I know it's probably boring y'all. But, um, but it's interesting, at, at least, you know, and it's, it is important that, that we do it because we want to keep ourselves safe when we're out there on our wheels. And if you're going to be riding EUCs, you need to know something about main, maintenancing these wheels. You can't just, you know, be out there, you know, flipping around on them and riding them and shit and you don't want to really open them up and do anything that's not that's not cool and then, you know you don't want to leave all that on your dealers because the reality is is that there's a lot of wheels out there and this is a niche hobby niche hobby and you know you really have to be willing sometimes to go inside these wheels 
and crack them open, replace a motherboard, which is not that difficult to do. Um, you know, you're just popping off some connectors and popping out these screws. And, 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 and you know, and if you haven't had that kind of bug in the past, liking these wheels can, you know, awaken that in you, you know, a little something. So, and that's a good thing, you know. Learn to crack open your wheel if you don't know and, and look at things and inspect things. We all know what a tight screw looks like. We all know what a disconnected connector looks like. Um, it's not rocket science. These are very, very simple devices relative to uh, some other devices that are out there. It has one wheel, has a motor, hub motor, wheel, has a battery <laughs> to power it, and it has a motherboard to control everything. So it's really not that complicated. There's three main uh, three main components that make up in an electric unicycle. So, you know, it's limited. The, the kind of um, problems you can have are relatively limited, you know, in terms of, you know, what they're going to lead back to, in terms of, you know, what, what, what's going to be causing those problems. So, I don't want to ramble on about that either, but yeah, it's a good idea to learn how to check your wheel um, and open them up if you need to do that. And yeah, so. It is what it is, man. And this is what the inside of the monster looks like. So I'm gonna close my wheel back up. I'm gonna get the tire pressure set up. I'm gonna get the wheel calibrated. And I don't, ha I, I have a lot of work on my schedule today, so I'm not gonna be able to actually take this out today and, um, and go for a really uh, proper ride on it. Um, but I will be able to hopefully later take it out for like an hour and um, take it on a good 10 mile ride or so um, and get some impressions. Um, maybe later this evening I'll be able to do that. And um, that'll be good, give you some initial impressions. And then I'll take it out maybe tomorrow or Friday on a proper ride and um, get better acquainted with the big girl. My seated riding impressions, obviously, very, very, very comfortable. Seating position is, is higher, I believe, at this point, it's the highest seating position in the game. So that makes it, uh, I think, less, less of a strain on your knees, which is good. I mean, that's what's up, that's what you want. You don't want your body parts to be strained. I mean, it is what it is if you're on a long distance ride, you know, It'll give you the ability to, you know, alternate between, you know, sore ass and sore feet. So when your ass gets sore, then, you know, <laughs> then you stand up. Feet get sore, you sit down. Gives you an extra option. Definitely make your longer rides more comfortable. So, you know, that's, that's a good thing. So anyway, I'm having fun right now um, on the seated riding. And, uh, do that for a few more minutes. Anyway, so really, I really love this monster. I really love this monster. Let me see if I can get you guys. Uh, I really love this monster, man. It's, 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 it's an awesome wheel. It feels awesome. It feels smooth. So here's what, I, what I've done so far. Um, obviously unpacked it and pre-inspected it, um, which I have on video. Um, I'll probably post that one before I post this one so you get a chance to see a little brief video I did on that. Um, and after pre-inspecting, uh, calibrated it, you know, and uh, changed the air pressure to 29. I'm not sure that 29 is where I want the wheel to be. Um, that's, for this wheel, I think 29 is kind of high. 
I'm a big dude though, 20, you know, I weigh 225, so, you know, it feels stable for me. Um, I had it, it was at, previously it was at 26 PSI, and that felt nice and plush, but I'm picking it, you know, on a real street ride where I'm going through potholes and stuff, I might depress the tire, compress the tire a little bit too much, and maybe uh, cause a problem. I do like the way it feels at 26 PSI, but I'll start here, test it out, and uh, already I'm thinking I might reduce it to 28, and I, I might feel a little better there. That might be the spot for me. 28, I think 29 is a little too hard. Kind of feels kind of hard to me. Um, but we'll see. I'll ride around with the foot a little while longer. Um, maneuvering the wheel is not as, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It, it is, um, it is slower to shift direction than, you know, obviously smaller wheels. Um, you know, things that you see me doing on other wheels, you know, like penduluming the wheels and stuff like that. It's kind of a little more of a challenge to do on this wheel, I think. Um, I'll try to pendulum here. You see me doing it here. Um, it's still, it's, it's, it, it is a challenge. You got to really kind of, you see that? Whoa. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not wearing equipment, so I don't want to really start trying to do new shit on a new wheel, but... You know, I had to come off at that time because I'm trying to talk. But anyway, you, you guys kind of get the idea. Let me see if I now see, see now I'm just, I'm a bad influence on myself because I don't like the fact that I couldn't, I couldn't do it to my satisfaction. That's irking me. So let me focus. Uh, yeah, there we go. Get your ass where I want you. And changing the PSI had a big effect on that. It was more stable when I was doing it at 26. But yeah, uh, uh. it was way more stable at 26. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna take some work, you know. It's gonna take a little work. But I'll, you know, I'll get with her. You know, work her out, work her in, work her down. You know, I think uh, if I reduce the PSI, I'll be able to. Jenga this wheel, Jenga pendulum, you know. I'm gonna be riding the monster a lot, the V3 100 volt monster. I'm gonna, 2020, I'm gonna be riding it a lot. Um, even in situations where I would normally take the Nicola, um, the Nick Plus, I'm gonna be taking this one instead, just because I feel like I need to, you know, spend some time with it and spend some time with it. So, um, there it is. And there you have it. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.